Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So it is February and if you've watched my channel since last year, you would know that for February, I did what I called Favorites February. And you know why? It is because February is my birthday month. So as a fun thing to do for my birthday, I decided to watch some of my favorite movies for this month. Starting off, we're going to be watching John Tucker Must Die. I wouldn't necessarily call this one of my favorite movies, but I did watch this a lot as a kid, <laughs> and it's because of the actors. I really like Britney Snow as an actor. I guess it was just entertaining watching these girls like plotting against this boy like a high school playboy. I don't know. I just thought it was satisfying in a way. It's like a little fantasy kind of thing. You're watching this guy get his just desserts for like playing these girls. It's it's just so mid 2000s with their teen rom-coms they were killing it they do not make it like they used to the last time i watched this movie wasn't even that long ago and i still think it's kind of funny a little outdated maybe but still pretty funny i'm just excited to watch this and i'm just excited to have a good time watching it before we get started on the video i'm excited to announce the sponsor which is a brand that i've already been using for the past two years and that is Function of Beauty. If you don't know what Function of Beauty is, they are a hair, skin, and body care brand that is 100% customizable. All you have to do is take a short quiz about your hair type and goals, and they'll create a shampoo and conditioner formula just for you. Growing up, my hair has always been straight, fine, dull. My roots get oily easily, but I also have dry scalp. So when I first started Function of Beauty, I wanted to fix all of that. But I think that my favorite hair goal is shine. My hair has never been this shiny and healthy looking in my life. That is why I love Function of Beauty because my hair just looks and feels so different now. I know that you can't physically touch my hair through this video, but trust me, the people who have felt my hair have all said that it's super soft and I have never been told that before. Since I've been using Function of Beauty for the past two years, I've shopped around the fragrances that they have. The set that I'm trying to finish up right now is in the scent Isn't She Bubbly, which smells like champagne, while my new set is in the scent Strike a Rose, which smells like rose and blackcurrant. I always get told that I smell good. I don't know about y'all, but being told that I smell good is such a compliment. I usually get my formula silicone free, dye free, and with light fragrance because I have sensitive skin, which is why I like that it's dermatologist tested so that I know my skin will not react to it. And it's tested with voluntary participants, so it's also cruelty free. If you click on my link in the description box below and subscribe, you can get 20% off your first 16 ounce custom set. And if you become a member, you can get exclusive perks too, like free shipping. So what are you waiting for. So, without further ado, let's get started on John Tucker Must Die. I was in seventh grade when I realized I was invisible. It was more like I was just, you know, kind of anonymous. They thought they were so clever with that. I mean, I was always a real loser. L O S E R. Bro, what kind of spelling bee has that easy of words? They're like in high school. <laughs> also, like, I always say this about like these older teen movies where they use like the most beautiful actors and try to pass them off as like not ugly because people did see that she was like hot later on. I don't know. I feel like people would have crushes on her. Like she's very pretty. I made these for you. Be careful. You're hot. I mean. Oh yeah. Penn Badgley is in this. I've watched this so many times that I know that he's in this, but then it's always like a surprise. And he's also like an easy A man. That man was booked and busy. It's happened so many times that my mom's developed a very mature reaction. A quick therapy session, or two, or three. That's disgusting. I'm not a frosting person. Like I'll eat it in moderation on cake or cupcakes, but like most of the time I scrape it off. Whoever can eat frosting like that, wow. Like kudos to you, could not be me. I went from sort of unknown to you narc. <laughs> Does she look that old to look like a narc? They look somewhere between an Abercrombie model and a Greek god. Kill the real podcasts. I mean, they're endangered. Okay, when I was younger, I didn't really see the appeal of the actor who played John Tucker. I was like, he's not all that. He's not that hot. But then as I am an older adult now, um, I see the appeal. <laughs> John Tucker here, also known as Tuck, T-Man, T-Dog. Some people call me T-Money, but I'm best. Who? Who calls you that, man? Ashanti! 
I wish Ashanti still like had a thriving music career. I think I recently looked her up to see if she's still making music and she is. But at the same time, she's also just like performing some of her old songs nowadays. And I'm like, oh. Hi. Yes. I mean, no. <laughs> I mean, you... <laughs> <laughs> I love Britney Snow. I think she's a great comedy actress. Can't believe this man has just just has so much game that he all he did was say hi and it got her flustered. Parfait, il zone Omar grillé. You are so sexy. Bro, she just busted out the French just to <laughs> show off. And Molly's all, why don't we stop fight, fight roar? roar? Stop fight, fight roar. roar. Two green salads, dressing on the side, salmon for her. Lobster for me. I love <laughs> lobster for me. Bro, I would hate if someone ordered for me. Actually, I'm pretty indecisive. Maybe I would like it. But then I would still want to look at the menu. <laughs> Never been here before, babe, so I hope they have good vegetarian. Okay, stop it already. Literally, all these girls are so hot. Although I feel like Sophia Bush just plays like very similar characters in all her roles. You know, for you, I don't have to give up all meat. See? Ugh, gross. Okay, was that supposed to be an innuendo for his meat? Or that she just likes him so much that she's willing to actually eat some meat? Oh man, mid 2000s soundtracks. Oh, the best. Just to waste my time with you. Tell me I'll let you go away. I'll keep you my dirty little secret. This song was actually made for this movie. <laughs> Girly, that is not sanitary. You're supposed to be raising money. This man is bold, okay? <laughs> Three girls at the same school? Unless your school is like huge, people are bound to find out and gossip. John Tucker. Bro, even when there is a woman passed out, he is still trying to shoot his shot. Like, come on. You would hear so much gossip about this man. And even though they're all from like different cliques, it's bound to spread, you know? People talk. But yeah, like I'm looking too much into it. This is really like a teen rom-com. It's not that deep, but I'm just saying. There is no way that he would keep this on the down low for that long, at least. I'm dating John Tucker. Why did they slow-mo that? <laughs> okay, everybody, let's play. Oh. She has great aim. If I hit that ball, it would have just flown right past her. I am dating John Tucker. Oh. 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 Sorry, coach, let me have why did Kate even get involved at this point? Like, she's too nice. I would have just minded my own business. Would not put my mouth on someone else's whistle. That's disgusting. Kate, Kate, wash your mouth right now. Want you to want me? I need you to need me. I literally found out about that song because of this movie. Okay, I feel like the way that they did um, Penn Badgley's hair in this. Is very reminiscent of what they did for Heath Ledger's character in 10 Things I Hate About You, like the long shaggy hair. But that's also like the look, misunderstood, like, rooming, ruminating, you know, like the not popular boy. <laughs> Detained. Wait, no, I have to rest- okay, let me rewind because that was like a good line and I just- said some stupid shit. You, you came early to detention? I would hate to m miss a minute of being detained. <laughs> That's some shit I would say. <laughs> it's not uh, usually the reaction you get from girls. It's uh, generally more like a... Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Passionate moans and groans. What is it about high school boys and just like randomly moaning? Especially like during class or like... Like, not even, like, during class. It's, like, all the time. Like, you hear this, this, that shit in the hallways. I don't know. Was that, is that a universal high school thing? Because I feel like there was at least one high school boy who would just randomly moan during school to be funny. But that's just not funny. That's uncomfortable. You can't have a girlfriend. Basketball season. If I could, you know who would be. Girl. You could not have fallen for that. Because we share something special. It's something we don't have to wait Something we don't have to label. Not uh You should know better than that. It's okay, because they're in high school. This is like their first experience of being played. You said that you were jealous because we share something special. Something that we didn't have to label. Because, because it's our unspoken bond and I just love how secure you are. And it hurts me to hear you question it because you're the only girl for me!
Bro couldn't even change it up just a little. Oh, nice, Heather. It's not like everyone doesn't know that Little Miss Cheerleader brings it on. What you look? We don't support slut shaming in this. Okay, well, they're not friends, but we don't support slut shaming on this channel. I like how they like hate each other, but they're sitting at the same table. And, and he's all about an unspoken bond or something special, but never about a relationship. And, and the whole arrangement was your idea, so you feel guilty that he cheated. She's right. I mean, he's always making me feel guilty. It seems to me- Ugh. If a guy is gonna be making- if, if- if- okay. If anyone in a relationship makes you feel guilty, that's just- that's just not a good sign. I've got a big date tonight. You've got a friend at the door. I'm close to my mom. Actually, no, just kidding. I do borrow some of my mom's clothes sometimes, but never the other way around. Like, my mom doesn't look at my wardrobe and like, oh, I want to wear this. I think that's like a little odd. But it's also kind of cute to have like a cute, close relationship like that. Don't touch anything. You spend way too much time in after school programs. Thank you. Okay, girly. Well, you need that for college, unfortunately. What is it? that attracted you to Kate, John. I like where you're going with this. Okay, <laughs> girls, what makes him tick? Is it that charm? Is it that smile? Is it that perfect tan? What? <laughs> Girl, pay hey, attention. Stay on track. And since John's game is that he always has a date, you make him undateable. This shit is so cliche, but I just eat it up. This is the type of teen rom-com that just like, just scratches my brain in such a good way. Like, you know, there are some movies that are just like way too corny to be enjoyable. And then there are some movies that are like way too serious for what it is. I think John Tucker Must Die is like a, it's like right in the middle. It's not serious at all, but like it has the right amount of corniness. You're a tree, it's windy, shake your branches. Big storm, John. Big storm. Bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> no. Hey, isn't that you? <laughs> no. Hey, no shaming people with STIs. Not okay. You know, herpes is actually very common and it's treatable, so. I don't personally suffer from an STD, but one in five young. And I am proud to give my voice to the silent. <laughs> <laughs> wow, very ally of him when he doesn't even like. Do shit. He's totally indestructible. We give him herpes, they give him an award. <laughs> Carrie, what are you always typing on there? I have my to-do list, my goals list, my contingency list, my observations, my notions, which of course are very different because observations require a topic sentence and notions do not. A topic sentence. Huh? Estrogen. Heather. Guys take steroids to get pecs. I just want to go up a cup size. I don't think it works like that. Yeah, I don't think it <laughs> works that way. We need him to understand what it feels like to be us. And what's more terrifying to a man than not being manly. Would that even work? Like, their plans are so stupid. Uh, Tea dog. The slim look works for some guys, but you're definitely losing tone. Maybe you should double up doses. Hey, yeah, yeah. Make sure the heads up, man. She's smart. I can't look at him with long hair. Like, why do his sideburns look like that? What did they do with the sideburns, actually? Wait, I've never noticed that before. Ew! Well, uh, you can start by measuring 40 milliliters into that graduate cylinder. Whoa. Slow oh, down. All right. Get down and Bro, come on. It's not that hard to pour things into a measuring cylinder. Girl, you could have just said saw water. <laughs> Lay off. Sensitive. Sorry, princess. Rub the tit. If I wanted to listen to an asshole, I would have farted. <laughs> that was so bad. But why was that funny? Do my thighs look fat in these shorts? That, <laughs> bro. Estrogen would not make him think like that. Uh, Yo, that was not a high schooler just now. Did you see that hairline? That was like a 40-year-old man. It's always me. We need you, John. Let's go, John. John, 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 John. John. <laughs> The way he's running, too. Thanks to us, girls will no longer be under the reign of John Tucker's charm. The way that they just, like, close Kate out. What you did on the court last night was the most courageous thing I've ever seen any man do. Girl, come on. This is my peer counseling hotline. Give it a call anytime you want to talk. A real man. Okay, stop. I mean, some girls are into that, so I guess. My peer counselor says I need to look into my emotions. His peer counselor. You know there's only one girl for me, but 
I don't think that girl's you. The way that he flirts and dates around, he must have tried something towards at least half of the girls at the school. Can't believe I ate meat for him. I mean, it was fish. Still, I don't- Oh, so I guess, like, she actually did end up eating actual meat. I don't know, I still like to think that was an innuendo. We should have just broken his heart. Except he broke up with everybody. Not everybody. They just threw in another cliche, which I honestly don't mind because I feel like if the whole movie was just them trying to sabotage him, like in the ways that they had been doing previously, I feel like it would have gotten old and a little boring, but they're changing it up a little bit while still trying to sabotage him. I know you think I'm just a superficial cheerleader, but I do have feelings and they got crushed because of your idea. Okay, girl, huh? Y'all agreed to it. It's not just Kate's idea. I simply would not be okay with having all that food on my bed. The crumbs. Okay, girls, this is Kate, and she'll be taking Nancy's spot. John loves girls on top. Of the pyramid, hello? I'm surprised Kate even, like, had that thought to begin with, considering she's so inexperienced. Cody <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Watch this. Okay, who- Who's just- who's just walking down the hall like that? Who's the new cheerleader? <laughs> She's not into high school boys. Kind of gross. Whenever I hear anything about like a high school or dating someone older, like a college student, I don't know. Kind of just gives me... the creeps. I think we're sending Kate in before she's ready. I watched my mom date a million and one of these guys. But have you ever dated one? Have you ever dated a John Tucker? Have you ever dated anyone? I like how in this whole friendship of theirs, they never once asked her <laughs> to explain herself. When he speaks to you, count to three in your head before you answer him. You must be new. Well, not new. new. Girl, you counting so slow. I'm captain of the team. You're our new cheerleader. I'm obligated to buy you dinner. School rules. You busy or? Sure, I'm busy. Nice to meet you, bye. What? This girl doesn't want to hop on my dick? I cannot even believe it. Uh, I'm just supposed to drop these off. Oh, hey, what's what is she supposed to do with all these flowers? That's too much. My number is 555-6467. Really fucking bold of him. It's our expose. We're going to show everybody the real John Tucker and how he broke his... Heart. I don't know. I feel like them documenting it puts them in a bad light as well because they're it's like so much effort on their part just to expose him. Like, yeah, he's like a bad person, but also like, I don't know. I, if you wanna, if you wanna get back at him, don't make evidence. John, there's only one guy out there for me, but you are not him. <laughs> no. John Tucker, there's only one guy out there for me, but you are not him. Damn. Was that good? I don't know. It still seemed like a little bad. So your lab partner's with Kate, right? You talk. Oh, the smile left his face. Man, I don't think she's your type, though. Girl is my type. <laughs> All right. She's into stuff like old school Elvis Costello. She listens to obscure podcasts. She reads Dave Eggers. You know, she's she's deep, man. She's deep. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, I have a kink. I have a kink in my neck. Kink in the neck? I don't know how to continue that joke. Kate, this is gonna work, I promise. I love Ashanti's like pigtail uh, hairdo. It's so cute. Tucker, get in the game. Bear my soul here, coach. Oh my God. Respect your emotional needs. <laughs> I like how the coach like learned from his little meltdown. You should come. Uh, John. Bro, there's no way. There's no way he's holding the basketball like right there and no one's taking it from him. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. It's kind of an invasion of privacy, you're not gonna lie. These girls are kind of crossing the line, but for the sake of comedy. John's birthday is like homecoming combined with prom combined with MTV Music Awards. Jeez. How much money do these kids have? It's your lucky day, because I'm gonna take you out tonight. Where do you want to go? I don't know, where do you want to go? No! <laughs> Me. So what movie? Anything you want. What do you think I want? And don't be wrong. I feel like if I was a guy and a girl like said that to me, I'd be like, it's kind of rude. Wow. Even in 2022, I think that shirt, um, cardigan, I don't know. That combo is cute. Would wear that today. Let me just stand here and enjoy this. The sunset is that way. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I'm just enjoying everyone staring at me in insane jealousy. They wish they were out with a girl like you. <laughs> girl, don't be fooled, don't be fooled. Oh no, that line was kind of smooth though. I'm not gonna lie. Can I give you a ride home? I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> that was too much information. <laughs> was that too much information? Everyone pees, girl. The only thing girls can't do is fart and poop. Are you a good kisser? I, I, I don't know, how does anybody know? Do guys tell you you're a good kisser? Oh my god, I I'm a bad kisser! <laughs> okay, stop! I'll <laughs> lock in on him. Grab onto that gorgeous head of hair and take control. One light kiss. Holy John Llama. Kiss her again. Do it. This boy really ruined the moment. You don't break up the kiss. Honestly, <laughs> Sophia Bush and Britney Snow kissing each other kind of, um, kind of gets me a little flustered. Beth's still in the truck. What? Slot in truck! I know like um, a lot of girls like to call their friends like bitches and slut as like terms of endearment. Like I I do that with my friends sometimes. But the, the way that they keep referring to... Uh, fuck, I don't even know what her character name is. Sophia Bush's character as like a slut. They keep like calling her that. And it's not very... It's not nice. But, I mean, they're not like actual friends so i guess it makes sense they have like hostility towards each other but yeah what are some of the other secrets i told you i have to tell you you know i like i really like the girls as actors but i don't think i give enough credit to the actor who plays john it's not necessarily hard to act like a playboy uh i guess like you have to have some sort of charm i don't know i feel like he's doing it pretty well he is like embodying this character What kind of cheap ass camera just malfunctions after a little sprinkle of water? Wow, two kisses? Hey, he's going above and beyond. The song is a big hurry. She's too much for me, and I can't help myself. I don't want anyone else. She's just the girl I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Just the girl by the click five? Oh my god. <laughs> Banger of a song. There's a lot of things I come to you for advice about, but this is not one of them. I have met some pretty nice guys lately. Right, yeah, the drummer, the guy in rehab, and throwing that one from the tanning salon, and you've hit the trifecta. That's mean. I mean, like, as a mom, you should be aware of, like, your dating habits and how that can affect your child. So obviously it's gonna affect Kate. And maybe she does, she did need to, like, hear that from Kate. Although I just think the way that Kate said it was out of, like, anger, which is never, like, a good thing. Oh, yeah, hey. Um, I just got in. What's Do these girls just not have schoolwork? They're just always at her house. Oh, crap. What's the matter? Uh, some perv's been checking out the house, and I think I see him. How would that work? In actuality, she would recognize that that's his car. Like, they drove in that earlier. Where are we going? Well, I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. That's kind of cute. Oh? How much fucking money does this kid have? What even told me he had a boat. Wait, that's his boat? Like his like his family owns that boat? Oh my god. I was thinking, damn, he rented that, but they own it. This motor sucks. Can't you go a little faster? No signal. Do they not have a paddle on the board? If I could dream of how a date should be. John Wait, what the fuck did she just throw in the water? My god, the ocean has enough trash as is. Maybe sometimes I come on too strong. <laughs> sometimes. Maybe. Oh my gosh! I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> this is cute though. If they weren't like on a mission to destroy this man and that he wasn't like a cheating bastard, it would be cute. What the hell happened out there? You mean he was able to get intimate without being like intimate? <laughs> They're fucking jealous. The only way to see if he's really falling for it is to see how far Kate can push him at the hotel after the awakening. Right. Yeah. She's already starting to break. She feels bad for him. I'm reporting from behind enemy lines. Central's going down! Are air ducts even that big in real life for so many movies to have people like just crawling through the air ducts? I think I'm just gonna hang out with Kate tonight. Oh, come on. So I gotta take care of all that Central Hotel by myself? Yes, so. Oh, come on, man. We're gonna get us some girls or you're gonna act like one. Please tell me. You tapped that by now. Yeah, yeah. You don't just pop an 82 Bordeaux because it's on your shelf. Great things take time. Man, you whipped. Yeah. 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 
imagine how different this character would be if these men weren't instigating his cheating habits. What if he was like cheating on these girls and the guys are like, dude, that's messed up. Like, why are you doing that? Do you think that he would change his behavior? Because it's obvious that these men are, or not these men, these boys are just, um, they're just encouraging that behavior, so. I don't know, maybe. You're not seriously going out with Skip, are you? He's probably in town for a layover and he's just looking for someone to lay over. Huh. <laughs> Very clever, sweetheart. That was pretty clever. Mom, no wonder I'm so messed up. I've never actually seen a functional relationship. Oh shit. Is none of your business. Are you serious? Kinda is her business. Now the real game begins. My goodness, this scene is so ridiculous. This plan. I will have you know. But at tonight's away game, I'm gonna be scoring more than baskets. Uncork it, then pork it, okay? <laughs> Uncork it, then pork it. Ew. Damn. Why does their abs look fake? They look like they were uh, painted on with makeup. Not like body shaming, but they looked a little too bronzed. Coach Williams is out in the hall. She's totally watching. There's no way you could get in here. Unless you went out on the ledge and came in through the sliding door. That's a lot of fucking work. I got all dressed up or down <laughs> i could try the balcony how thirsty do you have to be to go on the fucking balcony ledge you could die Ooh, a little preview i want you to wear them john johnny you <laughs> i thought that you know what i am tired and it is getting the way that she like it's not like a baby voice she does something with her voice whenever she is like flirting with him it's it's kind of funny wow the song is so relevant <laughs> damn that's kind of fucked up <laughs> even with flash and he made it a point to like raise the thong higher up too. Damn, that shit is in his ass. <laughs> that shit is in his ass crack. Thongs suck. It's like letting your best friend sleep in a silk hammock. Huh? A hammock is not that thin. What the fuck was that? As ridiculous as this is, kind of a power move on John's part. <laughs> He just has that much pull to influence the guys to start wearing thongs. Like, huh? Yeah, they're not getting quite go like I hoped. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Tommy was saying we do it as a birthday theme. Not the same old thong and dance. It's cute. Why'd she look so mad? Was that the plan? So I'm not just some 82 Bordeaux you want to uncork and pork? Mm, okay, that makes sense why she looks mad then, yeah. You're the one. You're the one? Like the one? Not exactly sure how it goes. It's just something personal. And whoever wants to know that I'm whipped. Um, I feel like they should have had more significance on that watch or something because like giving her his watch, like what does that even mean? Happy birthday, little Tucker. Heather is so jealous right now. Oh my God, you love him. <laughs> that was so aggressive, Heather. This watch belongs to me. He deserves the best, okay? He obviously deserves me. You guys, we're supposed to be friends. Oh no. This is kind of a shitty friend group though. <laughs> That's so obvious, come on. I thought they were being careful before about like, not appearing as friends. You know how John Tucker can be. Everybody knows how he can be. He is John Tucker. And still, every girl in school lines up to date him, knowing what they know. And yeah, he lies to girls to get them to fall for him. I can't imagine the kind of person who would do that. Can you? <laughs> kind of has a point. But see, yeah, that's true though. Like I was saying, these girls should know how he is, but they're still dating him, so. Ooh, Ashanti looks good with that hair. Spank him! <laughs> um, how old is he turning? Is he turning 18? Because this is a little, a little inappropriate otherwise. That small ass screen for all those people. We made it. Come on. You can wish me a happy birthday. Wait, what the fuck was that? What were those cuts? Whoever wants to know that I'm whipped. You're what the, the fuck? How did they get that shot of him on the boat? I've never done this before. What? John Tucker, there's only one guy out there. Oh no. But you are not. We were trying to break your heart so you knew what it felt like. I'm sorry. What's going on? Are you guys breaking up? <laughs> This entire you guys breaking up? I'm done pretending. 
This is the real me. This is the real, this is me. Hey, Kate. Yeah. <gasps> You're ruining the party! <laughs> See, that's realistic. I always say for those movies where like a character does like a huge speech at like prom or like just in the middle of of like a school crowd and then like people are like paying attention and they're like absorbing it like no that's realistic these people just want to party they don't go fuck about their personal drama i pretend i'm whatever i need to to get girls and it works dude <laughs> you're the man no i'm not saying it's a good thing it's a great thing it's wrong there ain't nothing wrong with hooking up with the finest girls in the school <laughs> see See, I think my theory is right. He tried to have a profound moment where he acknowledged his negative features and the guys were just like, nah, dude, like, it's cool. Like, just keep doing it. He had that affirmation to keep doing it. So I think, I think if the guys that he hung around with were better people, he would be a better person. Also, side note, has anyone ever been in a food fight like that? I'd be pissed <laughs> if I got food on my clothes. Truce? I'd like that. Kind of cute that they had like a mutual understanding. Unrealistic because I feel like these girls would still be pissed at him or he would be pissed at them, but I don't know. they have to finish the runtime. So. Chemistry does suck without you. Yeah, because y'all have chemistry. Yeah, you, suck. you totally have a crush on your Tucker. She'll definitely need help with this one. I just upgraded my boot camp. We can do a full frontal attack. No. No. Interesting that they're still all friends, but I guess that shared experience really bonded them. And the girl who made John Tucker fall in love? Who the fuck were those girls? Did she make other friends? It's the best way we survive. Woo! That was fun. Ah, this movie is so good. I don't think I really have much to say about this movie. I don't know how popular this movie was or how many people like this movie, but I just have like such a soft spot for this movie. Like I said, to mid 2000s rom-coms really hit the spot for me. The house bunny, easy A, she's the man, John Tucker must die, sisterhood of traveling pants. It's just like that genre and era of movie. Ugh, just. Guilty pleasure, what can I say? I wonder if the actor who played John is still doing things. I'm pretty sure he's probably still acting. I haven't really seen him in other things aside from John Tucker Must Die. Yeah, thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you want, and I'll see you for the next movie for my favorites February.